All right, what do you say we go to Ames now? Matt Campbell looking for his first ever win over Texas. Cyclones forced a Texas punt to open the game. Ensuing drive, methodically marching down the field. Brees Hall, tough seven-yard pickup. They cast the drive here. Fakes the screen. Charlie Kohler, wide open. That's about as easy as it gets. 7-0 Iowa State. The Iowa State defense swarmed Sam Ellinger all afternoon. Lawrence White, first here for the sack. That brings us to quarter number two. Final minute of the half, though. It's 10-0 Cyclones, but Texas moving quickly. Ellinger finds Brennan Eagles. Gets a toe down at the one-yard line. They mark him out, but, yep, yeah, that pesky review. Long review. Matt Campbell doesn't like it. They call it a touchdown. 10-7 Cyclones lead going into the break. Texas with 134 yards of offense there in the first half. Third quarter now. Iowa State up 17-7. Brandon Narvison makes it 27. Up to the fourth quarter. Same score. Texas in striking distance. Ellinger to Keontae Ingram. 22 yards. 2014. Like outside clones. Next UT drive. More Ellinger. Under duress, and he's just going to start doing the loop de loop, spin around, run around, whatever I can to avoid those guys bigger than me. Finds Malcolm Epps. 21 20, and all of a sudden, Texas is on top. Three minutes to play now. Cyclones on their own 18. Brock Purdy goes to work. Finding Deshante Jones over the middle for the 15 yard pitching catch. Then Purdy to Kohler. Another nice pick up there. Texas. Jump on a field goal attempt later. So the Cyclones able to move it to the 19. Connor Asali delivers the walk off winner. Iowa State tops Texas 23 21. Here is John Schaefer. Matt, Iowa State's four losses this season have come by a combined 11 points, and it looked like they were on their way to another one-point loss to Texas. That was before a quick quip from Coach Campbell as Connor or Sally delivered the 36-yard game-winning field goal. I think it was pretty simple, like, I love you. Whatever happens, happens. Hang on your process, and, and you'll be awesome, and, and he was awesome. He just had full confidence in me to go out there and get it done. He he always tells me a joke before I go out, go out for a kick, and we had confidence in Steve snapping, Blake holding, and then the coaches had confidence in me, and I had confidence in all my um, offensive linemen to block for me. So I'm just so happy that it went through. He's been working really hard you know, in practice to kind of tune some things up, and um, just kind of all, all of us as well. So I think just kind of that moment for him and, and for us as as, uh, as this team, it was just really special. Man, I was just praying to God, and um, you know, I was just thankful for you know my teammates and everything. And I was like, I just surrendered the outcome. I didn't try to you know think too much. I was just watching it happen. And you know, Connor did an amazing job of you know knocking it down. Blake Clark did a great job of holding it. Steve Wartell with the snap. So um, everyone did their job, and we got it done. Coach Campbell can now put a check mark by the Texas Longhorns' name, the last team he needed to beat in the Big 12 since starting here four years ago. Reporting at Jack Trice Stadium, John Schaefer, Local 5 Sports, we are Iowa.